the old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors the severe blizzard has ravaged new york for three days now with no end in sight we've been snowed from the start in the valkyr case the forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from but the snowbound city was on my side less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. You don't want to piss me off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers at green eyed angels. Amen. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. But no, 
they sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm -hmm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large.
turn around, walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's soup. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be ticking inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be, before the explosive makeover. read the headlines were screaming bloody murder the storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens it was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder <laughs> <laughs> 